I'm going to show you something about uh, continuous integration, locally running and migration testing. You might not know this wording. About me, um, yeah, research officer, community member, cookbook, app maintainer, that's all you need to know about me, more or less. Now, let's dive into it. You know, unit tests and integration tests. Unit tests are very small, very quick, and mainly what you do is you mock your environment and test a single feature. In integration test, you have the complete infrastructure available, you have the complete server available, you use uh, dependency injection, and you mainly use what you have. Maybe you mock some things if you don't want to do everything. And from the size, they can be larger. It could be that you have a complete cycle that needs to be tested, but typically it's yeah, average, I would call. What's important here, rollback of DB, database transactions, that means when I do something, the database is active. So if I write a file, if I change something, it will be stored in the database. And if I rerun the test, and it would already be there, so I have to roll back the database. And there is also from Christ uh, Christoph Wurst, is a the, um, yeah, dependency available that allows you to use the rollback feature of the database systems we have that starts a transaction just before the test and at the end of the test it automatically rolls back. So everything in the database is gone and we are happy. Now, what I would suggest here is an augmentation of this unit test, integration test into migration test because what we cannot test using these rollbacks are migrations. Migrations do, are not backrollable. All the databases we use can only backroll changes of data, but not new data structures. And personally, as cookbook maintainer, one of the worst errors I did was I fixed something, I thought I fixed something in a migration and it killed all user. And it took me, I think, two or three releases until I get every user again online. And therefore, I installed something in the cookbook where I defined another structure where I do the complete installation from the first version of the migrations until the current one and test if they work on all databases. And that's Postgres, SQLite, and MySQL or MariaDB. And um, check if these migrations work. And here, I'm honestly, I'm not sure if this is the real best way to do it because it's slow like hell. I think it takes one and a half minutes to run all these tests through and the more migrations I have, the longer it takes. And here I'm very open for discussion. If you have any ideas and you say, okay, guy, you're completely wrong what you're doing here, I would be pleased if you tell me this. And I would also be pleased if you tell me how to do it better. That would be even better for me. Yeah. So what I do is I created a Python script that allows me to run the continuous integration tasks locally. And I have then to create a fake environment. What would be on GitHub? And this is not so easy. So the idea is, why do I do that? I try to reverse it. Instead of doing a virtual continuous integration environment on my machine, I just do my machine on the CI. So I just do what I would do in the continuous integration in Python script. And then I create a continuous integration setup that just mirrors my setup. That's easier, then I can maintain it easier. And um, here's this local testing framework that I created. Um, I cannot show you everything because this is way too much, but it's Docker-based, um, rather generic at the moment it's focused on the cookbook app because there it's integrated, but it can be extended to arbitrary apps. There's no problem. And what it's uh, continuous integration is just running these scripts that I would normally use for local testing. That's more or less all. Um, caching is one thing that could help me here because I think uh, the complete cycle is like six minutes or something like this. And from these six minutes, I need uh, one and a half minutes for installing the server. 
And what I would suggest is that we implement something in a common data in a common code base so that everyone can use that. And again, if you have suggestions, ideas, or enhancements, contact me and we can look at this. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention.